Volamore is finally here. Old school's new massive landmass south of Zaya, brimming with tons of content for all types of players, ranging from PVM in the Coliseum or Perilous Moon's dungeon to skilling content like the Hunter's Guild. I cannot wait to explore this mysterious new land and acquire new items to experiment and upgrade my account with. We are entering a new saga for Mr. Ironbar, the Volamore Saga. To enter this new region, you have to complete the short and easy quest called Children of the Sun. I already did that, so I have permission to enter this region. I have delved into the content blogs for this region in previous videos in preparation, particularly the boss content. If you are not sure what's in the new boss content, link at the top for more info. Anyways, I want to challenge the Colosseum first. Before I dive in into the Coliseum and become a gladiator, I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy traveling around Volamore a little bit just to see what this place is all about. Get a first impression. So we're gonna start with doing a quest. We finished the quest and that unlocked a teleport to Volamore. There's a few ways to get here aside from using the bird at the east entrance of Varag. There is the Ring of Dueling teleport to the Coliseum and there's also a teleport in your spellbook to this place if you finish the quest i just did you can also access it through your nexus if you have that which i did make the coliseum is rumored to be on a similar level to the inferno at least in terms of formally beating it and earning the new bas range cape the designer's quiver this wave system pvm encounter also gives you actual drops the further into the waves you get the better the chance for bigger rewards dying results in no loot so know when to call it quits Outside of the Quiver, the Coliseum also can give you some other items. The Glaive of Rallos, a ranged weapon that can lower the physical defense of your opponent with his special attack. A very useful spec weapon for any ranged situations, just like a BGS or Warhammer for melee. Also, we get the Echo Crystals to add onto the Guardian Boots for a Wii Coil-like effect. I'm definitely curious how useful the Echo Guardian Boots will be, as that is such a new concept. There's also new best in slot prayer gear called Sunfire Fanatic Armor and Sunfire Essence to make Sunfire Runes. These new runes make fire spells 10% stronger and acts as fire runes. I want to obtain all of these new items, especially the Quiver and the Glaive of Ralos. Let's go and challenge the Coliseum day one. Okay, let's see. You're about to enter the Coliseum within. You'll face multiple waves of dead enemies that at any point is not considered safe dead. Apart from between waves, there's no exit within the Coliseum. Teleporting is allowed. I understand the risks. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god. Okay, I gotta... Oh, okay. So we gotta pick some modifiers. Oh, reminds me of Dominion Tower. Earth Strain by 20% of damage received. Enemies never miss and hit an extra 1 damage. Your maximum HP is reduced by 10% and can no longer be boosted. Alright, let's try this one. Let's go with this HP reduction. Whoa, their movements are so weird. They do be hitting. So strange. Okay. That's some really weird movements, boys. But we got it, we got it. We got the first wave. Yeah, that sounds great. I'm gonna just pick the HP one for now. Holy... Oh my god. Yo, 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 chill, 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 chill. What the hell? Can I... Actually, I'm gonna try to freeze these guys. I'm gonna... Yeah, we're, we're gonna try to freeze these guys. Because they, they follow you in a group or something. Oh, that's really cool. Yes. Wait, there's another guy? Whoa, J Jaguar Warrior? Whoa, Dragon Claws with my guy? We're gonna try to play this like it's the Inferno. Okay, Scythe is definitely... Oh, that's also really nice too. You saw that? The Scythe also killed the... Uh... Also killed the Swarm, so that's really good. What? Oh, wait, what the hell? Oh, jeez. That, that Bee Swarm actually hits really hard though. So you have to be really careful. Let me learn what this one's about. What the hell is that guy? What's that guy? Manticore? Oh, shit. Okay, so this guy attacks one tick at a time. 
Dude, he has so much HP. We got him, though. Sit down, doggo or cat, whatever. Enemy explode on death. Enemies uh, extra for make war banner spawns every wave. Man, I think I'm willing to take this one. I'm gonna I'm gonna risk this one, boys. Ooh. Hold on, I'm trying to figure out my equipment. That's that's the problem. I don't, do not do not really know my equipment right now. Oh, I think it might be over for me, boys. Ah, dude, that's ridiculous. There, there was just too many already on that wave five. Nice, but I got new glory. Let's go. Improvements. Okay, okay. We got to figure out the spawn on, on that one. Let's try Myopia. That, that's, uh, I'm just going to go with this cricket, you know? Oh, what the hell? That's all the range I get? That's ridiculous. Oh, damn, that's ridiculous. Okay. Uh, if I die, I die, you know? Ah, god damn, there's just nothing I can do. Well, I made it to wave 6, though, so that's a PB. Exploding enemies. Man, that's gonna kill me, but I'm gonna try it out. Fuck it. Oh, that was not 3x3. Three three. <laughs> that was like a 5x5, five five, bro. Okay, uh, maybe that one is not as easy as I thought. Oh my god, brutal dude. Okay. Yeah, this is the brick wall right now, boys. Oh, I reached gladiator status though. Let's go. Let's go. We we PB somehow. Nice, nice. Damn, in a large radius on death. Didn't I already do this one? Did I not? I mean I'd rather pick this one then. Alright, well we'll see how this goes. What the hell is this guy? How do we do uh, deal with this guy? Is he's a major? <gasps> oh fuck! I didn't mean to do that. No! Ah, damn it, dude! Ah, I misclicked out. Okay, wave seven though. <gasps> what the hell's that? What the hell's that? What the hell's that? What we should do though is this: freeze it and heal. <laughs> heal, 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 heal. Alright, if I fuck up, I fuck up, you know? Oh! <laughs> no! Oh, it's, it's just not that. Yeah, no. That, that one, that one's just fucked. All this dying at the Coliseum is tough. So, I want to take a little break and talk about today's sponsor that RuneScape players will absolutely love. Speaking of cool RuneScape things, I gotta tell you about the first official Jagex licensed RuneScape goodies that are equally epic by today's sponsor, CreatorCrafted. CreatorCrafted is a brand formed by some of the community's most passionate creators and members, and I'm delighted to be working with these guys to bring you some amazing RuneScape products. These items are specifically created for RuneScape's most diehard fans. Their main offerings are LED signs of RuneScape's most iconic icons, so as you can see, my room lights are off. Yep, my lamp is off, but it's still got a nice warm glow to it, you know, even during nighttime. And this is why, right here. The nice LED display from Creator Crafted. So I recently uh, bumped up the decor, so we went from just the Iron Man helmet. And now we have the Twisted Bow, very awesome. I gotta get a Twisted Bow, right? That's like one of the longest, if not the longest grinds ever. But Get your hands on these fantastic goodies right now because some are limited time and could run out. I got the hookup just for you guys though. Use my link in the description or type in code RICE10 to get an additional 10% off which directly supports the Ricefield channel. Upgrade your room with the best in slot official RuneScape merch today. After dying a lot at the Coliseum, there are some things I definitely want to mention to you guys that might be really interesting information. There are a few components to this challenge. You have the wave system, where it gets harder, of course, and there is 12 waves. The final boss is on the 12th one. Another layer to this challenge is that there are penalties that you have to take once each wave. Penalties are really the standout challenge that is unique to the Coliseum. We've seen wave system boss fights before, like Fight Caves, Inferno, but not with penalties. Penalties really forces you to think outside of the box in these type of situations. 
some of the worst penalties you get are the doom penalties where enough mistakes made will automatically kill you another really bad penalty is the one that summons bees that will cause rapid damage over time if they touch you some penalties will basically make the final challenge many times harder also each creature in the coliseum has pretty unique pathing mechanics and combat mechanics so that is also something that i had to get used to i will mention the ones that really gave me the most trouble the Freemanic warbands show up every wave and these guys comes in threes or fours with the penalty and having at least one of each style they run super quick and will chase you even around the freaking pillars the warbands are typically the first things that you have to clear and the first big obstacle that you'll have to understand personally they become very manageable once i ice barrage them as they get near me in my safe spot and then i move away as they have a short reach they won't be able to hit me at all i try to kill the melee guy first though because he hits 30s and super accurate the other two members are a lot weaker so i can heal off of them or just delay killing them if i have to deal with other things also they are weak to their respective styles so much that you can hit your max on the melee guy with magic for example great to use your sgs or eldritch spec on the respective warband members for maximum heals the javelin colossus is pretty challenging as every fifth hit this guy will throw a javelin in the air that will land where you were standing at the time and it must be dodged and it cannot be prayed against if not you will take anywhere from like a 20 to like a 40. initially i would get way too distracted dealing with many monsters in the wave and i would get sniped in the head by the javelin and die also there's a penalty that makes the area hit by the javelin become unusable for the wave or the third penalty tier which makes it permanent throughout all the ways and that forces you to kill them quickly if you are facing them head on or else you will use up important save tiles eventually i got used to them and i was able to lure the javelins away from the important tiles when those penalties were on but it took a lot to get it down another big obstacle was definitely the manticores as they shoot three rapid attacks of all three styles and each orb hits in the i want to say mid 20s so you can get stacked for like 60 plus damage if you mess up completely it can be in different orders as well, the orbs, but the melee orb will always be last. A lot of times you will end up fighting the manticore and another monster at the same time. So you have to really get used to flicking all of the manticore's attacks, but also line up his attacks so that the other enemy's attacks can be blocked as well. Really good understanding of prayer flicking and stacking enemies behind obstacles is super needed. Another notable NPC that is scary is the Jaguar Warrior. He spawns in the first half of the waves around the 45 second mark. He can quite literally dragon call you for 80s. So you just need to make sure you're ready by either trapping him, freezing him, or prayer flicking him. I usually just trap him since he's a large NPC using the pillars. There's many more nasty creatures, but you guys can experience them for yourselves and find out. All right, this wave is chill now because I, I have these two trapped really well. So I can only I only have to deal with one at a time. This guy shouldn't be able to reach me. Well, at least I know the ranger from back there can't reach me. Yeah, he can't reach me either. All right, the manticore also can't reach me. So that's really good. Yes. Okay, new PB. Took a bit, but now we're focusing. So what kind of gangster modifiers are we going to get? Oh, no. Minotaurs can no longer be safe spotted? Oh no! What is this? Fuck! YOLO YOLO! I die! Fucking god, that's so hard. Oh, the double AOE! Oh no, I'm so dead. Ah, damn it, dude! Oh my god. Die! Oh, I'm dead. Fuck! All right, anyways, that was good. Wave 10, new PB. Oh my god, a 50. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh, come on. Let's do it, guys. Day two of the Coliseum with the new setup and new perspective. With some research as well from uh, other players. Nice. Oh, wave 10 completed. Oh my god, what is that? What? 
No way! Three of them? Oh my god, I have to complete that. Dude, I want to go to the boss, but three Echo Crystals, man. That's the first time I've seen a unique... Holy shit, we must absolutely clear that. Apparently, they're worth 150 mil each, but I'm an Iron Man. I'm, I'm not selling it, but... I would love to put this on, like, the Guardian Boots. Like, I'm actually using it right now. It's a pretty nice tank. I can't, I can't. Oh, okay, okay. We can do this. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Man. Okay, we got this. Yes, come on. Echo Crystal, you're mine. Oh, this is so sad. I fucking did it, though. We made it to the boss, basically. Oh, look at this. Next wave. Oh, my God. I, I mean, I'm not going to clear the boss, anyways. I would have loved to get the practice. All right, we're going to claim it. Definitely, yes. I, I need those three crystals. Holy shit. Yo, dude. Technically made 450 mil. There it is, boys. Echo crystals. Uh, anyways, we're going to combine the echo crystal. It gives like some sort of recoil effect. But uh, yeah. Oh, echo boots. Yo, I'm fucked. Oh my god. I look so sick. Look, look at this. What are those? Damn, this is a nice looking shoe bro wait you can check it oh yeah there's charges okay so so i can combine another one whoa so we have five thousand charges i just spent 300 mil on these shoes just now oh it gives you an extra two per bonus oh that's sick damn just adding the echo boots to this shoe gives it four per bonus that's actually cracked that's like holy sandals except you have you get extra defense you also get the strength bonus, of course, from the shoes. This Guardian Boots, or Echo Boots, rather, is going to be uh, pretty useful, I think, from now on. Even if I don't have Echo Charges. Now, I want to talk about my Wave General Strategy, just because lots of you guys probably want to know, so you can learn this faster. By no means is my strategy optimal, but it worked really well for me. But I start around the northwest part of the Coliseum, Tau Mart. Monsters cannot spawn near you, so that forces them to spawn in the other three directions. So as soon as the wave starts, I run to the west side of the northwest pillar and ice barrage the free dudes when they get close. While I do this, I see where the monsters are. Usually, just being on the west side of the pillar is good enough as there's usually only one enemy to deal with, and you can trap like jaguars and minotaurs on that side as well. If there's two enemies coming from the south though, I usually just run to the north side of the pillar to trap those coming from south but if i can't properly deal with the enemy still even after going north because it's just not perfectable for example then i will use another option which is my last resort and run down to the southwest pillar i usually just put on tank gear and pray mage but if i can see that i can flick some of them i'll try to flick while running by this point usually one of the enemies won't get stuck behind the mass of mobs and will eventually reach you on the southern part of the southern pillar but that's good since you can fight it one-on-one. -on -one. Sometimes Jaguar or Minotaur hasn't spawned yet, so do be careful of those guys. If it's a bad situation like that, you have to be ready to freeze or perfect the Jaguar and the Minotaur guy. This method will solve most of the waves, and I found it pretty consistent once I practiced it enough times. Alright, now I'm gonna watch a video. Yes, we have successfully made it to the boss a second time. Whoa! whoa what is that what no you're such a troll there's no way i'm getting the boss kill on the first try come on <laughs> why are you doing this jagex oh my god every time i make it to the boss it's like 
complete this uh or, or leave and get the drop now it's like complete the boss on your first try because if you don't you're not gonna get this super rare item i i mean it's not like super op or anything item wise but it's like come on finally i will skip straight to the boss the final boss soul heretic is a very dodge based boss he will queue up his spear or shield and based on what he queues up you have to run back a certain way and he typically attacks every four takes which is 2.4 seconds like a whip for example if he queues up shields you need to move back two tiles and then three tiles if he queues up shields again and the spear queue up is also very similar mechanics as well where you have to dodge from the middle two tiles out and then eventually you have to dodge two tiles out diagonally if he does two spears back to back he also has a different set of spear attacks that you have to time with protect for melee or he will deal big damage if you mess up he will also try to grab your gear and deal damage that way so you actually have to click on your glove slot when he says he will grab your gloves for example also the room is littered with light baits notes that deals damage over time if you touch him and light rays that must be dodged the whole time so if you have really bad penalties it will affect this fight too you have to really try to not have something like doom or bees penalty for example he is super resistant to range and magic so you have to melee him particularly with a good slash weapon like scythe ideally and then soul reaper blade or whip in that order <gasps> no way <laughs> no way oh my god okay okay i got this i got this all right that, that wasn't too bad you're not gonna oh, believe this but that fight you just saw was actually my first ever attempt i definitely got lucky here but i definitely played way better than i would have thought on my first try and also i noticed i had three dose brews so man if i noticed that in my inventory and drank it maybe i could have done it one try this 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 is not okay all right all right all right almost boss again no Fuck, dude. Oh, dude, the bees. Oh my god. Yeah, we can't do bees. We can't do bees, bro. Holy shit. <gasps> I threw. I threw. I threw. Oh, man. I threw. I threw. I threw. How did I do so well before? <sighs> no way. Echo Crystal again? Bruh. Oh man! Ay ay ay! I didn't notice that. I didn't realize uh, it was Echo Crystal. But no, no, no! I want to get this boss done. I, I already have the crystal, and I don't think I need this. I'm sure we'll get more in the future when we go for the other drops. So yes, we're back again. I guess. Oh, here we are. The light! Oh, the light. This is the first time ever I'll have potentially max HP for the last boss. Every time I fought the boss, I was at 80 HP. Capped. So now I can actually brew up all the way. So brews will be even more effective. Hopefully. We'll see what the last three handicaps are. So you're picking totem? Totem picks. Oops. Dang it, dude. Dang it.
Ok. Oh my god, that was scary. Uh, dude, I was shaking at the end. We freaking got it. Holy shit. Oh. We now have the new best in slot range cape, the, the Sauna's Quiver. It comes with a base 18 accuracy and 3 range strength, but if you add the Sunfire Splinter charges to it, it gains an additional 10 extra accuracy, making it 28, an additional 1 range strength, making it 4. If you are wearing a bow or any other range weapon that uses ammo stored in the quiver so it's not gonna give you that bonus effect on the blowpipe but you'll still get that fat accuracy stack not only does it have really good stats it also lets you hold two types of ammo so you can for example wear like dragon arrows for your twisted bow and dragon bolts for your zarya crossbow if you want to use that for like a special attack or something or to swap it for whatever reason you can also do something like one ammo and one blessing or lucky penny as well because the quiver will hold on to the ammo where the slot for the blessing would normally take so you can have that too now which is really nice for certain situations also the quiver will most likely give you a max hit at least half the time with most weapons and with the twisted bow especially on task you will definitely gain like two max hits because of this extra boost so that's really really nice so I am going to be looking forward to permanently upgrading this thing. We need 150k splinters. Let's go. <laughs> That's sick, man. That's a good ratio, guys. Probably my best uh, kills to deaths ratio. <laughs> but let me check my glory, though. Let's see. What, what is this? Nice. 23k. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, yeah. You also get all these um, benefits, though, for the glory status. I didn't even know. Ooh, Earth Patch Protection. There's a new Earth Patch, too. Ooh, Respawn Point here. Oh, shit. I might buy that. I might buy that so I can figure out how close the Respawn Point is. Because if it's close, it's closest to this bank, man, it might be worth it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I got a lot more Volmore content to explore and show you guys while we grind for all these new gear and whatnot for the collection log. But before I go, I want to shout out our sponsor once again creator crafted for hooking us up with some amazing led lights get yours and some other cool stuff like plushies too on their website link in the description remember to put in the code rice 10 for 10 percent off okay make sure you guys upgrade your room right this moment